Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, look how fancy this is, this filter. It's super fancy, uh, super fun. I wanted to pop on really quick and just talk about a couple of things that I've gotten a lot of questions on recently. In the past week or so, I've actually had over a dozen people ask me about certain things like carb blockers or fat blockers or how those work and do those really work and all these other things. Here's a little bit of info on that. Um, I'm just gonna talk about it really quick. I'm not gonna dive in too deep, but basically how some of these things like carb blockers and other products like that work is uh, really resisting your body's natural physiology and reaction that it will have when it digests specific types of food. So for example, a carb blocker is something that is supposed to stop your body from absorbing the carbohydrates. That's oftentimes how they're described. Basically what it does though is it restricts your body's release of an uh, uh, enzyme called amylase. Amylase breaks down carbohydrate in your body. So when you eat carbs, amylase is released and it breaks it down and then you absorb the nutrients and you absorb the sugars and stuff from the carb. It's how your body works. It's how it's designed to work. Great! Um, so then if it's undigested, it's supposed to just pass through your digestive system. From a lot of the research that is out there, it depends on the product or things like that. Sometimes they have prescription carb blockers. So that's a, that's a thing that's out there that you can get a prescription for a carb blocker. And tests and studies that have been done on those prove efficacy of anywhere. I've seen results from, you know, 40 to 70% of the carbs actually get not uploaded into your system. Meaning, let's just say 50% of the carbs you're eating then aren't being absorbed and digested. That means they get passed right through. But the other side of that too though is that it's disrupting your body's natural physiology. So in terms of a philosophy for a specific result, it's, it's not something that I typically would recommend somebody follow. And that's just a personal preference on my overall, on my overall health philosophy. I'm a really big believer in getting your body's natural physiology to work better and getting your body as healthy as possible and then you'll have the best results that way. And working with the natural systems that your body can go through. Now that's very different from saying, oh, I want to resist or block something from happening in the body. And then hopefully that will, you know, cause this other chain reaction. So it's, a, it's just a difference of opinion. So when somebody has, uh, takes like a carb blocker from whatever resource that is, you're taking this carb blocker, that's actually going to disrupt the amount of sugars that your body is absorbing and taking in. But it's also reducing the natural enzymes that get released. That's going to screw up your digestive system. Oftentimes these side effects for these things can be um, uncomfortable, we'll say just a little, you know, may have some other things happening there when it's disrupting your digestive system naturally. And then from that as well, you know, your digestive system needs time to heal and rebound and come back. And then also, it doesn't overall, in my opinion, teach you how to work with your body or how to eat to burn these carbs. So I do have a bundle, and you can click the link to, to get the meal plans and grocery list and bundle of everything. That this actually this meal plan actually will take you through carb cycling, which I believe is a great way to work with your metabolism and teach your body to burn the carbs that you're eating. Um, and things in a completely different way using whole foods, using these natural resources to work with your body physiology. Um, I, I just, it's a different philosophy on, on how to approach health and everything else. And that's just what I believe in and follow and, and recommend for people. So not that it doesn't work. Some of these carb blocker and fat blocker things, you know, may actually work or do what they're designed to do. It just oftentimes has a different effect on the body than what people are thinking of. And then as well, if you're taking a carb blocker, you're not actually teaching your metabolism to work better. You're not actually doing different meal planning things. So if you stop taking the carb blocker, then you're not going to get the benefit from it that you were getting from it originally. So, so there's that. Um, but I, I really appreciate the questions that I get from people. I really appreciate the insight that people actually are taking. And I love that people are looking more at their own products, that they're looking more at what they're putting in their body and how their body and responding to it. So it's wonderful. Um, so if you have questions, please let me know. I would be more than happy to answer any questions on whether it be a product or a supplement or a protein or, you know, anything like that, or, Hey, I heard of this new thing, or I have this going on. Do you think that would work for me? Or I've been trying this and I'm super frustrated. What else can I do? 
I'm more than happy to kind of troubleshoot some things with you. Um, if you have questions on anything, you can comment below, you can message me, you can also share this video. A lot of people are really confused by some of the vast information out there. And if you found this helpful, then you can share it so other people can get the same benefit too. I'm really passionate about educating women on their health and on their bodies and how they work so that you can get to your best health as quickly as possible. So all this is in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, which will be out sometime this year. <laughs> all right, so that's what I have for you guys today. And I will chat with you tomorrow.